near mint condition, the home of collected oh, edition. That cover is so awesome. Absolute format is the best way to own this store. Time to empty those wallets and fill those shelves. Hey, hey, all you mentees, Uncanny Omar here from Nearman Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And join me today for my overview of the Wanted and Big Game Library Edition hardcover from Dark Horse Comics. So let's go ahead and get started. And welcome back, everybody. So what we're looking at here is the very first Mark Miller Library Edition from... Dark Horse Comics. We know that he's moved this library over there, no pun intended, his entire library of Miller World over there. So this is the very first one, and I'm sure there's going to be plenty of others, and hopefully some that are some of your favorites. But this is both Wanted and Big Game, collected in this big book. Uh, this is a library edition. So here it is, next to my old beat-up copy of Wanted. For some reason, I never replaced this. Uh, this is the old trade paperback by Top Cow, so you can see just how much bigger this library edition is, and also next to a deluxe edition, so it is taller than your deluxe editions and longer, and also, of course, an omnibus edition, because deluxe editions have the same trim size as omnis. But let's take a closer look at this. We have Wanted and Big Game up here, and three of the main characters. You have the killer, the cat, and Nemesis right there, Mark Miller, J.G. Jones and Pepe Larraz. J.G. Jones doing the story of Wanted, and then Pepe Larraz doing the story of Big Game. So here we have both of them. I do find this collection really interesting because Wanted which just felt like it was so long ago, and then Big Game is, I think it's the series that just came out in 2023. Miller, Jones, Larraz, and the Dark Horse logo down there, and then the back of the book right here. And you'll see something down here, just in case you don't, there's the Netflix logo. So I don't know if this is going to be a Netflix series. I know there was a movie with James McAvoy and Chris Pratt, uh, although he does play a small part. So Miller World and Dark Horse Comics are proud to present the es essential collection of Miller's Ultimate Action Saga and Deluxe Oversized Hardcover Format. The book retails for $59.99. And one thing you probably saw, yeah, look at that edging right there it's all black pretty cool all right <laughs> edge right that is mark miller especially during uh the one to time so we have hit girl over there and the killer and the fox over here on the right hand side and then the same art the same logo and font and in the back is the same. So I guess it's up to you whether you keep the dust jacket on or not. So we're going to open this book up and I'm going to talk about these two different stories this, because it is two different eras. And I'll let you know if I'm going to get into any kind of like big spoilers or anything like that. Usually I try to stay away from those and just kind of give you the pitch. But sometimes you can't help it, especially when there's such a big leap in years in between Wanted and Big Game. All right. Let's go ahead and get this book open. I love this end sheets right here of this huge battle from Pepe Larraz between the heroes and the villains. Wanted and Big Game Library Edition uh, written by Mark Miller, J.G. Jones doing the pencils and inks of Wanted. Dick Giordano actually doing the flashbacks and then the colors by the phenomenal Paul Mounts. And you have the lettering by Robin Safar and Dennis Heisler. And then Big Game is done by Mark Miller and Pepe Larraz, Giovanna Hiro, do, or Giovanna Nito doing the colors, and then the lettering by Clem Robbins. Now, this does collect Wanted, issues 1 through 6, and then Big Game issues 1 through 5. The book has 360 pages and retails for $59.99. So, before I even open this up, this is definitely mature content, and that's mainly due to the violence and sexual content and the language. And, yeah. So, if you've seen the movie, it's a little bit like that. Actually, the movie's a little more toned down than the book is. And there are a lot of changes from the movie and the book because, well, they took away the superheroes and supervillains in the movie. Uh, this is a piece by Chris Bocciolo right there, who actually, uh, I think he does some of the... No, it's a cover, I think it's what it's from, from one of the characters, and then there's Brian K. Vaughn. So the story of Wanted 
is that of Wesley Gibson. Now, at the very beginning, there's a narration right here. This is my best friend having sex with my girlfriend over an Ikea table I picked up for a really good price. So his best friend is cheating, or rather his girlfriend is cheating on him with his best friend. They go together for lunch, and he knows about it. He hates his boss, and he lives a mundane life. He gets picked on by these neighborhood, as he likes to call them, cholos. Um, and it's just the type that it, of life that he lives. Now, then we see an assassination attempt on this particular character, who will come to be a big part of the story later on. And then we see a funeral. Now, what ends up happening through here, you know, besides him getting just... You, you, they really lay heavy the idea that this guy's a big loser uh, who's abused by everyone in his life, including his co-worker, his unfaithful girlfriend, and then his so-called best friend. So, he doesn't really know his father. He was raised by his mother. Um, his father took off when he was just a kid, and nobody really taught him to fight for himself. Now, one day... Actually, it happens in this page right here. While he's waiting on some food, this lady known as the fox comes and says, hey, you don't have any time to eat any of that. You need to come with me. And he's like, what? So she starts shooting up the place. And she's like, I said, you need to come with me. They get into her car and she takes him to this world that will forever change him. So the fox happens to be an assassin. And she wants him to come with her to be a member of this place called the Fraternity. It's a powerful organization of supervillains. And they're the ones that rule the world. And how they've kept secret for so long is that they have made the world forget that superheroes and supervillains were a thing. So what the whole thing is, is they want him to replace his father. His father was known as the supervillain known as the Killer. And he was the one that was killed by an unknown assassin. So that's what the fraternity wants. They want him to take his place. Because they know that he has it in him to become that character, that killer. So there's also characters over here, like Professor Solomon uh, Seltzer, who's the mad scientist type of character. And then we get to meet the other parts of this particular organization, this fraternity. So what's really cool about this, I remember thinking this too when I was reading it for the first time, is that because they use technology and like magic to brainwash everybody into thinking that superheroes and supervillains didn't exist, like a lot of the faint remains, a lot of the memories inspire things like comic books and movies. So because people still remembered and I thought that was a really cool way to explain where the imagination for movies and superhero comic books come from originally. Now, we do meet other sections of the villains. Like, there's other, like, five different chapters that are meeting. And there's some inner turmoil. They don't agree with everything going on. And that's what the story basically is. It turns into this murder mystery as to who killed the original killer, but then they're also teaching Wesley how to become this villain. And then how him and the fox have to stop the opposing sides of these five chapters, the ones that are against the others, uh, from revealing to the world that villains are a thing. And that's what this turns into. That's what this is. That it's about training. So it's not like, hey, Come with us if you want to live like you're joining the X-Men. No, it's like you're going to become a supervillain and you're going to take your dad's place. Now, there are some twists and turns here as to what happened to his father, but you can find out by reading the book. Now, in between Wanted, there is the Dogier right here where you get a little bit of the bio on these characters that you're going to be seeing throughout the book. Deadly Nightshade, that was her name. And, yes, you're going to see names like that. Just keep in mind, that is Mark Miller writing these stories back then in the early aughts. This is what I meant by I found this to be really interesting because, you know, you had Wanted that, to me, came out, you know, in 2003 and 2004. So, 20 years later, you get this story right here, Big Game. And what Big Game does is bring Miller World together as the huge crossover 
uh, not only from the world of Wanted, but also from the world of Kick-Ass and Nemesis and Magic Order. Now, do you need to have read any of those books to understand what's going on? No, not at all. This is good versus evil. That's it. That's, that's what this is. So we are a little bit into the future. So I have to talk about some spoilers here for the setup of Big Game in case you're not familiar with what happened. And it does have something to do with Wanted, some of the characters in Wanted. So just in case, spoilers for some of Wanted, not everything. All right, so what I was saying in Wanted is that in the 80s, supervillains got together as the fraternity and they destroyed a bunch of the heroes. And then they started brainwashing the entire planet to make sure that no one remembered supervillains and superheroes. So fast forward some time, and we start seeing the birth, a new heroic age, with the character of Dave. Um, I cannot remember. Lewinsky? Was that his name? Uh, the guy, the, the kick-ass character. That becomes the very first hero again in this new age. And then we get a bunch of other heroes spinning off from that. Not just kick-ass, but wanted. And we get the chrononauts, even though they're not really superheroes. But a lot of it ties into this particular book. So what ends up happening is... This is where we get the return of Wesley Gibson, known as the killer. And now he has taken over the fraternity. So in this book, the fraternity is still trying. And then you get Nemesis, who becomes like his protege. The fraternity still is trying to protect the world from believing in superheroes and supervillains. So they're trying to put a stop to the new age of heroes. That's what this is. And you do get characters in here that you're going to recognize if you had read other works by Mark Miller, like Chrononauts or Magic Order. But this is where you get a bunch of the superheroes that are now coming about in this new age, and they get to fight against the supervillains, the fraternity. And you're going to get some introductions of some new characters, and you're going to get the return of older characters coming back in a new way, like looking a little bit different. And characters not just, you know, like Kick-Ass and Hit-Girl, but characters from other series, like even some that I haven't read. So, it's really cool. This is like, it's a big crossover, and it is the payoff of 20 plus years of Mark Miller building this world. So, I do find it interesting that it's right beside Wanted, but then again, I'm like, where else would you collect it? Because this is really the character of Wesley right there, and it is his story, and of course, the Fox and other of the supervillains. Now... That's all I will say about the premise of both Wanted and here we go. Big Game, but let's look at the gallery back here, the sketches and the character designs, the original pages and the layouts, and then some of the covers here. And as much as I love Pepe Larraz, my gosh, I love J.G. Jones' art. And I know he's not the fastest artist, uh, but gosh, do I love his internal artwork. That guy can just... I know I'm talking about him as I'm flipping through here but he can just lay out these panels and it's just so easy to follow oh love seeing it in a big oversized format so here we have like different covers and you're probably recognizing some of the characters through here if you've been reading some of the miller world stuff and then the bios on the creators and the miller world in reading order so kicking off with wanted and then american jesus and here this kind of gives you an idea of how to read it. So I think the next book they're doing, I know they're doing the Magic Order, uh, but some of this stuff hasn't been announced yet in a library format. So I hope they, they keep on going. There's the Jupiter storyline, and then your end sheets right here. I love that. Now, let's look at the build. 360 pages printed in this big, thick, glossy paper stock, and you do get a yellow ribbon right here and that's it that as they say is that if you're interested in purchasing this library edition don't forget to check out our sponsors if you're in europe and you're interested in buying these books definitely check out walt's comic shop in berlin germany they have the cheapest pre-order prices flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all eu countries emails answer within 24 hours waltzcomicshop.com and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price.
They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first-time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the content, the page count, and build of this book. Let me know in the comments down below what other library edition you want to see from Miller World, or just what other library edition that Dark Horse has published over the years either come back to print, like The Goon or Harrow County, or maybe some new stuff like BPRD, Lobster Johnson. Of course, that's all in the Hellboy universe. But other stories that you've seen that Dark Horse has done, what would you like to see collected in a library edition? If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Check us out on Patreon and Spreadshop. Amazing ways to support the channel. Everyone stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.